Today I'm going to make a homemade pneumatic cylinder out of PVC and use it to up our pocket hole game. About nine months ago, Inventable sent me this desktop CNC. It's a carving, and it works really well. It's got an 8x12 platform, and it's really great for small projects like this. So, uh, shout out to Inventables. This was awesome. Now, I want to mention that I used the CNC for this particular project because it made it go quickly. You can definitely do this by hand. There's not a lot of wood, prod wood in this particular build. Uh, there's a front part, a back part, and three little cylinders I'm using for plungers and that'll make sense as we get into this. So to start with I took these little small round parts that I uh, cut out and put a hole through them and then made a spot for the head of a bolt. This is a six inch um, three eighths bolt that I'm using for the plunger in this pneumatic clamp. Now once I had the cylinders in place I just sanded them flat and I need to put some o-rings on these. Now this will slide inside the PVC but to get a nice airtight fit I need a rubber o-ring. And to do that, I took it over to the table saw. I'm not sure this is the safest way to do it, guys. Uh, be very careful if you do attempt it like that, but it worked for me. I just uh, used a backer board behind it, spun it around on the blade, and the blade was only up about a sixteenth of an inch, so it wasn't real bad. Now, once that was done, I was able to fit it into the little PVC pipe that I'd cut down to just under five inches. Now, these little wood parts that were made for the uh, clamp, I wanted to put a little finish on them just to give them a little extra strength. I don't know that it was really all that necessary, but I did it anyway. So after that was done, all I had to do was cut uh, some threaded rod here that I'm using to kind of hold this all fit together. Now this is totally unnecessary. You don't have to go this route. I did it because I thought it looked cool and it was just a simple solution. You could definitely glue it together or even use end caps on the PVC to create the cylinder. So with that done, uh, I installed one end of the PVC and then made sure to wax up the plunger head really well and the shaft of the, um, the threaded rod or the, the bolt that I'm using for the, the head of this cylinder and then put my threaded rod in and that was really all that's to this build. I know that by, went by really quickly but there's really not a lot to it. Uh, we'll explain how this works here in just a second but I just wanted to show you that this is a pretty simple assembly and the cost on this is really inexpensive. A, three, a six inch long three eight threaded bolt a PVC a piece of PVC is 24 inches I could probably build five or six clamps out of a little bit of plywood and some hose um, o-rings that I think were three dollars for ten of them so super cheap uh, the one thing I did have to get off of Amazon was this connector now this connector fits to a quarter inch hose it's just a, uh, a slide on connector so you slide the hose in and it clamps it tight and then I had a foot pedal switch which we're going to use for this as well again that's something you can get out off of Amazon I'll put links in the description box below if you guys want to order them uh, but that's it. I mean, that's the heart and soul of this. Now, this is a one-way acting clamp. In other words, I'm only putting pressure on the backside, which makes it go forward. Now, to make it return, after I put the head of the clamp on, I'm going to use some bungee cord to make it return. Or if I could find a compression spring that would fit on the inside, which would be a little neater, I'll do that in the future builds. Now, the whole reason I'm doing this is I want to get an idea about if this is a viable option. Um, to use in upcoming builds because here's the thing pneumatic cylinders are cheap they're not expensive at all but when I'm designing a project I have to design around the store-bought men pneumatic cylinders if I can do it this way I can actually design the cylinder or the pneumatics right into the build and that's why I wanted to test it anyway so after the clamp was done I set up a little pocket hole system like this and it worked great um, Plenty of power with the, with the PVC clamp. I got my compressor set at about 60 pounds PSI, and uh, it, it's awesome. And for less than $5, I made a pneumatic cylinder. So um, the, the foot pedal was $22, $23 off of Amazon, and the rest of the parts uh, were very minimal. I mean, pocket change kind of pricing. So this was a super inexpensive way to build a pocket hole machine. And I will have mentioned that Frank left his pocket hole machine behind, so Frank, I used your pocket hole maker thing just so you know <laughs> but the clamp was strong it worked well and it would hold a lot of weight all right so that about wraps it up for this little bit of madness this worked better than i had hoped it would in fact uh, i'm not sure if you noticed in one of those clips you would have seen something like this i'd forgotten to turn the power down on my air compressor i turned it back up to do some nailing and i forgot to turn it back down and it literally just 
smashed the front end of this apart. So I knew for sure it was gonna have enough power. So I quick made another one and wanted to show this being used for something practical like a pocket hole machine. Now there's lots of other uses for it. And I did have a question in the last video I did about the automated bench vise using a pneumatic clamp about making it go slower. Yes, these actuate pretty quickly and you can make them go slower. There's a couple ways to do that. The easiest way is just to use a needle valve and restrict the airflow so it trickles in slower. And we'll do some of that in later videos. But right now, I'm happy with this. This is a viable option for future builds and instead of having to you know, think about integrating store-bought clamps into my builds, I can build the clamp systems right, or the, um, the pneumatic systems right into the build itself, which makes it really cool so i'm super happy about that thank you so much for watching today guys really really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up shares are really helpful if you know somebody who might enjoy this share the video it helps us out more than you could possibly imagine also big huge thank you to everybody who commented over in the last video about the um the pneumatic bench vice lots of great feedback lots of fun ideas so thank you so much for that always enjoy that if you're not subscribed don't forget to subscribe and while you're there hit that little bell notification next to the subscribe that way you actually get notified when i post a video youtube isn't real good at sharing just saying so anyway thanks again guys we'll talk to you all later have a good one